Hello artists, today we will be making these profile self-portraits. A profile is someone's face as we see it from the side. Here are some examples of side profiles. First, we want to start with a piece of paper and pencil. I am now writing down characteristics of myself. So I am an artist. I'm also a teacher, and now I'm writing down some facts about me. So I'm from New York. My favorite animals are flamingos. My favorite food is sushi. So now I want you guys to go ahead and brainstorm five things about yourself. You could think about some of your hobbies, a sport you play, where you're from, your favorite animal, anything that you want us to know about you. Here are some ideas you guys can choose from. So now we are going to get our iPads out and we are going to Google search side profile silhouettes. A silhouette is an outline of a dark shape in front of a light background. So here are some examples of side profile silhouettes. So I am scrolling through looking at all my options and I'm going to pick this very simple side profile. I press down on the photo and then press add to photos. And then once I go into my photos, my picture will be there. So now what I want to do is turn my brightness all the way up. And I'm going to place my paper on top of my iPad and I want to make sure I have a pencil and I'm lightly going to trace the outline of the side profile I chose. This is a great way to trace a picture or image that we want to draw. So now I have my list of things I brainstormed about myself and I am numbering it so this will be the order you see it on my side profile. So now I'm going to write artist on the top of my side profile but I don't want it to be that small. I want my writing to be big and to take up the space I have just made for my word. So see how I'm drawing my letters really big so it takes up all that space. And I left a little room to the side of artist so I could draw a picture. So now I'm doing the same thing with teacher and then creating a space for that word. And now I'm writing flamingos. I chose to keep that all lowercase except for the F. And then at the bottom, I'm putting sushi. And then instead of writing all of New York, I chose to just abbreviate it to NY. Here is another way you can write your words out. Instead of doing it horizontally here, I did it vertically. Now I'm going to use a black marker and go over all my words and lines in my drawing. By doing this, this will help our words and lines stand out. Now I'm going to use an eraser and I'm going to erase all my pencil marks. And now I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to sketch a small picture that goes along with my word. So for artists, I did a small paint palette. For teacher, I did an apple. For flamingos, I did a flamingo, of course.
for sushi, I'm drawing a small sushi roll. And for NY, I'm drawing a little building. It's important we use pencil because if we make a mistake, we can erase. And now I'm going back in with some markers and I'm going to color in all of my drawings that I have just made. And that is it, boys and girls. I cannot wait to see what you guys create. And once you are done, you can take a picture and post it to the activity on Schoology.